Revelations 20 and 4. And I saw the thrones and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, for the word of Yahweh, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their head, hands. And they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And Shalom to you, sincere Akya out there, mainly the elect man. Uh, the scripture I read in Revelation 20 and 4 speaks upon the elect. I want to go through it again and break down the key point that I want to do um, on one main point which I'm basing this video upon. And I saw the thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. And that's the time of Jacob's trouble where, you know, men, chosen men of the Lord, the elect men, 144,000, Esau wants to round them up and put them in guillotines, man. Behead them because um, one of the key um, reasons for the beheading is so they can utilize the, the, the organs of those dead. And that's really, you know, to prove for this, the fruition of this, this prophecy, the beheading of the elect, all right? And it says, for the witness of Yahweh Shai, and for the word of Yahweh, and which had not worshipped the beast, okay, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads. So the image and the mark of the beast go hand in hand. In order for you to take the mark of the beast, you'd have to be a worshipper of the mark of the beast. That's like the stamp. That's like the seal of approval, okay, to show... Really, that's like the token of your worshipping of the beast is you getting the, the mark of the beast, all right? Which is the RFID chip, which will be placed in the right hand or in the forehead of those that worship the mark of the beast. Okay, worship the beast, all right? And it says, neither had received the mark upon their foreheads, okay, or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai a thousand years. And the rest of the dead lived not again until a thousand years were finished this is the first resurrection okay so those in verse 5 the dead that's being spoke of is talking about these other nations man that's what it's being spoke of that's simple and plain as that and I'll prove it Isaiah 28 it tells you about line upon line um, precept upon precept line upon line here a little there a little so we got to use that method in order to get understanding from the scriptures. And that's what I'm going to do. This is Isaiah uh, 14 and 9. Um, Hell from beneath is moved to meet thee at thy coming. Okay. Who's this speaking of? Esau. All right. And the hell is talking about a bad time, a low estate. And it's being moved to meet um that hell is being moved to meet um, Satan, man. To meet Esau, all right? The so called white man, the devil the Bible speaks of, all right? It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all. Okay, now this is the point. It stirreth up all the dead for thee. So who's the dead? Even all the chief ones of the earth. You have raised up. You have raised up from the thrones all the kings of the nations. Okay? So those are the dead that's being spoken of. When you're dead, it basically means it's in a state, um, a state of lowliness. All right? Being some, like it told you in Revelation 11, man, we were dead. How was we dead? We was in slavery, in subjection underneath the so called white man. Who's in the rule of um, the, the, the throne of rulership presently? Esau. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Straightforward. So every nation in their present um, status right now is dead, okay, because they don't have no rulership. 
And in that thousand year period when we're ruling over the earth, they're going to be totally dead because they're going to be building up our kingdom. After the thousand years is done, Esau's going to be exterminated, as it tells you in Obadiah, all right, about um, Judah and Ephraim coming together, Judah and Israel coming together and kindling in the fire, putting them in the pits and burning them up. But then after that, what's going to happen is these other nations, are still, that nation is going to be exterminated. Edomites are going to be no more. But then after that, what you're going to have is you're going to have all these other heathen nations. They're going to go out there to their allotted land and they're basically going to supply us with um, the abundance, the, the best of their, their stock. Whatever they got, we're getting the best of it, man, because they're going to be subject to us. All right. So with that short video, I pray you're edified. Shalom.